Hey guys, welcome to another Whiteboard Thursday. Today's problem is that if you have a string with parentheses, open and close brackets basically, how do you determine whether the parentheses are valid or not? This algorithm is in place in all of your code editors. So we'll go ahead and see how exactly to implement it. And also at the end, I will tell you which problem I'm going to cover next week. So you can get a head start and try it out before you watch the video. So let's get right into it. Let me start out with an example. Let's say I have a string that looks something like this. I have A, B, C, then I have open parentheses. And also, actually, can I also assume that we are only dealing with certain types of parentheses? The ones that, I, that come to mind are um, the regular, the curlies, and the square. Yep. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So let's say I have a string that starts with A, B, C, and then I have the regular ones closed, curlies open, regular ones open, um, curlies closed, something like this, you know? And this is a valid one. Yeah. If it wasn't valid, it would be something like this. Right? Correct. This is not valid. So in order for me to check, I'll need to traverse the entire string. Mm -hmm. And I can use one of the data structures that, um, because at each point, I only care about which was the last open parentheses, right? I don't care about any of the other ones because the last one that was open, I need to close first before I move on to the others. Yes. So I need to know which was the last one. So I just need to know what is at the top of the stack. So I can use stacks for this. So mm -hmm. let's say I'm using a stack um, and let me go through the logic. Mm -hmm. So basically what I'll do is I will each time when I encounter an open parenthesis, mm -hmm. I'll push that on top of the stack. And how do you know like if the open parentheses? So let's say I define an object or a hash map. Mm -hmm. Looks something like this. For each opening parenthesis, um, I basically say that it is an open parenthesis. It's the one that we're looking for. Okay. So let me just type that or write that over here. Um, in the uh, last can you one, have this opening parentheses and arrays and just check for if they are present in an array or not? Yeah, we can. We can. You know, it's yeah. not really going to cost it too yeah. much, anyways. But this is it's nice and simple. Mm -hmm. So, um, for each element in this string, I'll see whether or not it's an opening parentheses. Let's say we encounter, we are at that one right now, and this is my stack. As um, my result is true, basically the key is there, mm -hmm. I will say, okay, add it to my stack. Mm -hmm. Now I encounter a closed parentheses. Mm -hmm. So now I need to check somehow that uh, it's a closed one, right? So yeah. just like we had a lookup for the open ones, I'll mm -hmm. need to look up for closed ones. So let's say, um, let me name this um, is open, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let me, let me name this is open and then I'll have another lookup. Let's say is closed. And that look something like this. For each closed parentheses, I will not just need um, a validation that it's actually closed, mm -hmm. but I will need to uh, know what the corresponding open parentheses is. So I will have this guy over there, closed squares. I'll have open squares and closed regulars. I'll have, oh, sorry, closed. And I'll have open regulars, right? Yep. So they'll look like this. So now I encounter a closed regular. Mm -hmm. I look at this map and it, I, first of all, I find that, okay, there's some value in it. I look at the value mm -hmm. and I should, when I pop this, I should, I should now see what was the last open one and I'll get it by popping. So when I pop it, I just match it with what the result was. Mm -hmm. If they are the same, then everything's good and I can move on. If they're not, then I know that the string is not valid and I can stop right there. Yeah. So if I continue to do this, for example, let's, let's just do it for this example where it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I'll pop the open whenever there is an, or push, sorry. Whenever there's an open one, I push it in. So I'll, I'll push the curly. Mm -hmm. Now I encountered a closed one. Mm -hmm. I look it up over here. Mm -hmm. 
now I say, okay, whatever I pop right now should correspond to this. I pop, I get a curly, which is not the same as, um, as, as the open regular. So now it's not valid, I can return false. So if we are, if you're clear um, on okay, this approach. Start with the implementation. Perfect. So let's say I have a function. Mm -hmm. Let's say this function is in the same scope as these two objects, mm -hmm. uh, just for the sake of this example, you know, or pseudocode. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't have to <laughs> write these again over here. Okay. But let's say we have access to is open and is closed in this function. Okay. So what would I need? The first thing, so the thing that this function will take in, um, let's name it though. Let's say it's called is balanced it takes in a string mm -hmm. and it outputs a boolean now I will iterate through this string mm -hmm. um, before iterating let me just initialize a stack so I'll say stack equals new stack mm -hmm. right um, now I will just go in a while loop and I'll go through the entire string. So I'll say while, let me, let me also do um, i equals zero, which is basically the starting point in the string. Now I'll say while i is less than um, string dot length, do this. So what do I need to do? The first check is to see whether or not the element that I'm at right now is an open curly. Yeah. So I'll say if string i, so I can actually say if is open string i, basically if it's there in the set or the hash mm -hmm. map, yeah. then um, then I push it on my stack. And I say stack dot push um, string i, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So let's say it's just two lines. So now my second check is going to be if. So now I have pushed it, right? Um, and I shouldn't do anything. So this should be else if, right? So mm -hmm. if this goes into this, um, else if is closed, string i, mm -hmm. right? What do I need to do? Now, if it's closed, I will, I will see what is the corresponding um, curly, right? So I, I will, let, let me say let, or pseudocode, so let's not deal with, um, deal with the declarations. So I'll say um, corresponding, so let me say corresponding equals is close string i. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, if corresponding is not equal to whatever uh, thing I'm at right mm -hmm. now, then um, then I'll just return false. Okay. Right? Yeah. So what? Let, let's 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 just do a check. So if I'm at um, if I'm over here, right? Mm -hmm. And my corresponding for this one would be this. Yeah. So the last open should be the regular open, mm -hmm. right? So if it's not equal to string i, then I return false and break out of the while loop. So that's my else statement. I? It's not equal to um, where I'm at right now. Yes. Right. If the corresponding value is not equal to string i, because if I'm at the closed parentheses right now, and you also 
looking for his clothes. And, I, and the, the, the first thing I do is, oh, I didn't pop anything. Yeah. Sorry, yes, I didn't pop anything. You're absolutely right. Um, so I should say is not equal. So the corresponding one was the one corresponding to our string i right now. So I have to check it against uh, whatever we pop from the stack. Yes, it's not equal to stack dot pop, right? And let's say stack dot pop if the stack is empty. In that case, it's going to give us undefined or something, and it's still not going to be equal to the corresponding one. So if that's the case, then return false. Yep. Great catch. Um, and that is it for our else statement, mm -hmm. right? So these two checks were the actual checks. The next, if, if it doesn't go through any of these if statements, it means that it's something other than the parentheses that we're looking for. But in either case, we need to increment i, right? Yeah. And that's it. We're done with the while loop. Mm -hmm. So now there is a possibility. Let's say this is a valid parentheses set, right? Okay. There's a possibility that at the end, I have an open square bracket and I have popped it over here uh -huh. and the stack is not empty yet. Right, so I should have the ultimate check mm -hmm. to see whether or not the stack is empty. So I will say, let me let me just write it over here. This is part of the same function in mm -hmm. small little space over there. So I'll say if um, stack dot let's say size or length is greater than zero, return true. I mean, return false as it's not valid. Else, return true. And that's it. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. What about the complexity? Um, so time complexity, we'll be traversing through the entire string, yeah. right? So it's going to be linear. Mm -hmm. In terms of space complexity, Let's say the string is all consisting of, um, of brackets, mm -hmm. right? And let's say uh, the string is eight characters long and I have eight open brackets. I'll mm -hmm. still be using that much space. So that's going to be linear as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button below. And next week, we are going to cover the problem where if you have three arrays, how do you find the intersection or the common elements between all of those arrays? So... Uh, make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when the next video comes out and I'll see you next week.